Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video tutorial we will review the workflow for ZBrush models taking advantage of the import and merge improvements made in our most recent release. We will use the ZBrush Water Dragon sample scene. For the sake of this video we will lower the subdivision level of the scene's subtools. Maverick can handle millions of polygons, but the export-import process would be heavier otherwise. Let's export the model as an FBX file. As soon as ZBrush is done exporting we will go to Maverick and use the ZBrush toolbar button to import the model. Let's select the FBX we just exported and an ambience to import the model into. Always keep in mind that scale matters in physical rendering, while ZBrush models are often created not paying attention to their scale. Once the model is imported we will change the navigation's pivot to surface for easier handling. Let's now work a bit on the scene. We will start by trying out some environments. All we need to do is drop them from the library until we find one we like. Remember that ambiences can be easily rotated from the Ambience Composer panel. Once we decide over one, we will set this marine depths background image we have on our hard drive. Dropping an image to an empty area in the IPR automatically sets the image's backplate. We will use the send file text resolution button so the render resolution matches exactly the resolution of the backplate image. We will now make some adjustments to the camera. Let's change the focal distance and find a viewpoint we like. Which we will save with the save camera button. Let's enable depth of field and refocus the camera on the subject by clicking while holding Ctrl Shift. We may want to use the depth of field pre-visualizer for a finer control. It is recommended to lock aperture in the camera so we can adjust depth of field without affecting exposure. Let's illuminate the scene now. From the lighting library we will drop some gradient lights on the model and reposition them to our liking with the Normalite tool. Let's delete the ambience's floor object because we don't need it this time. Let's create a hard spotlight from the ambience composer. These lights we are creating are very small. So let's lock selection so there's no need to aim exactly to select them. Let's add a projector texture to give our illumination more of a marine character. We will better appreciate the projector if we turn off all the other lights. Adjusting the spotlight angle we may narrow the effect as much as want. Let's try and adjust another projector. Let's unlock selection and enable the rest of lights and the IBL. Last we will create a bottom light to add some nadir lighting. When the lights are all created it is always a good idea to play around with light mixer to make some precise adjustments. Let's enable light mixer and disable all the lights to then turn them on one by one, tweaking their intensity and hue. When we're done we must consolidate our light mixer changes to the scene. Let's play a bit with the tone mapping and adjust contrast, midtones, black tones, and vignetting from the lens effects page.
Let's enable the AI denoiser in the IPR to get results more quickly. Now it is time to work on the materials. Let's begin with the eyes, adjusting specular and roughness so they shine bright. We may use optical zoom to blow up results without losing the camera viewpoint. For the body we will reveal the material's extended attributes, where we will find the subsurface scattering roll-up. We will copy the diffuse color map to the subsurface slot and play with its weight and scale making the effect more evident. With the radius sliders you may shift the subsurface hue to red, green or blue as needed. We might use this very material for the winglets, but we will repeat the same process so both parts can be configured independently. From the ambience composer panel we will add a backlight to remark the subsurface's translucency. We will scale it up in the ambience composer so the whole model is covered and then we will hide to the camera all the light sources. Let's go back to Light Mixer to better appreciate the impact of the backlight we just created. Finally, Let's talk about another key improvement in the most recent release of Maverick, one-click model updates. Back in ZBrush we will scale, move and rotate the winglets for example. We will also use some brushes to deform the tail, the body and the head. When we're done we will simply re-export our model, overwriting the one we exported the first time. Now in Maverick we will use the update a brush model. The scene will update automatically, without losing any of your materials or lighting work. Let's go back to ZBrush and use polypaint and colorize on the dragon. When we're done we will re-export once more overwriting the same FBX file. From Maverick we update again and see how the vertex colors got updated without losing any other changes. We will complete the scene using another improvement in the most recent release of Maverick, model merging. We will use this coral model from Sketchfab, for which we thank the original author. We will download in GLTF format and decompress it on our hard drive. In Maverick we will use the Merge Sketchfab model and choose the file we just decompressed. Bear in mind that checking scale is always very important. The merge system detects collisions in some camera and object names in this case. We will skip incoming cameras but make sure to select add to scene for the objects. Once the new model is in the scene, we will disable DOF and the keep aspect option in the IPR so we can place the coral in the scene more comfortably. Using the move tool we will move rotate and scale until we find a scene composition that we like.
Let's re-enable keep aspect and reset the camera viewpoint with the home button. With depth of field re-enabled the scene is now ready to render. We hope this summary will help you work comfortably with ZBrush models in Maverick. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.